What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Carter Scotland Allen here. And today we are taking a look at all of the Doctor Strange appearances and ranking them. So every Doctor Strange appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe ranked. Let's not waste any more time and get right into this sorcery. Once again, I have my Doctor Strange 2016 movie review out now. So if you want to go check that out, please do go give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Marvel content as well as any more movie related news. And of course, if you can't tell, I've got my Doctor Strange Funko Pop over here and my Ancient One over here. Let's not waste any more time and rank these appearances. Okay, let's not waste any more time. We have six appearances. Let's go right into number six with Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is a fantastic movie and was a really refreshing take on Thor. And with that, we have one of our most comical appearances of Doctor Strange to date. We see Strange trap Loki in a falling loop that feels like something straight out of a comic. He wears the comic book yellow gloves, as well as even refilling Thor's beer with his mystical abilities. And this is by far one of the most fun interactions that Strange has ever had on screen. This is by no means a bad appearance of the character. However, all of the other appearances on this list just have more for the character to do. So let's get into number five. Okay, this one might actually be a little bit controversial. I'm not for sure how this is going to go. But number five is Endgame. I did feel like Doctor Strange was a little bit lackluster in Endgame, but it actually does kind of make sense when you do think about it. Uh, he did have to basically defend uh, the Avengers from the wall of water, uh, and he was the only person capable of pushing back a wall of water. Uh, if he were able to fight everybody else, he would have just demolished that, that playing field, that battlefield. Uh, so I, I do get keeping him distracted and not having this overpowered character just just wipe out everybody. Um, he did have a nice moment with Tony Stark uh, calling back the, the one and only way that they can defeat Thanos. However, it's really all we get of Strange in Endgame, and so that's why Endgame gets the number five spot. Okay, and number four is Doctor Strange. Like I said at the beginning of this video, my review of this film is out now, so if you want to see that, go check it out. It is in the link down below, or in the description down below. Okay, so number four is Doctor Strange. Yes, the original Doctor Strange from 2016. This is, uh, you know, kind of right in the middle, just the lower half of this list. And if you've seen my review, which is out now, you'll know that I, I like this film, but it's not the greatest. It's not very memorable. It is kind of formulaic. Uh, it is, however, a good first attempt at the character. I do like this film. It is a good first glimpse into the world of sorcery. However, I just found it a little bit boring. I like seeing Strange's journey from skilled surgeon to angry cripple to competent wizard, uh, and that is very present within the first half of this film. However, the second half of the film just felt a little bit lackluster and really slowed down for me. So that's why Doctor Strange gets the number four spot. Okay, and number three, here we have Spider-Man No Way Home. This is the latest appearance of Doctor Strange before his appearance in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, duh. Uh, so yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home was a fantastic movie. It's one of my favorite movie theater experiences of my lifetime. Uh, I, I loved this film and I genuinely loved all of the interactions that Stephen Strange had with uh, Zendaya, Ned, uh, you know, everybody in this film, everybody that he connected to. His final connection with Peter was really heartfelt and easily was the most connected that Doctor Strange has really felt to somebody other than Christine Palmer. And I also love loved the connection between Spider-Man and Doctor Strange because it does show the growth between the two uh, between the time from Infinity War when they met and now here in Spider-Man No Way Home. His interactions are amazing. His fight with Spider-Man is fantastic. I love that Spider-Man beat him using math. The visual effects on his powers are very fantastic as well as always. Strange is just as fun but just as serious and kind of honestly intimidating as you would want him to be and that's why no Way Home gets the number three spot. It is one of my favorite appearances of Doctor Strange to date. Okay, and now we have the final two spots. If you have been kind of following along and you're a huge Doctor Strange fan, you probably know uh, how these are going to play out, but let's not waste any more time. Number two is What If. So this is episode four. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? 
So this episode was what if he kept losing Christine? What if Christine died instead of him, you know, breaking his hands? And this shows how he uses the the dark magic to try and win her back. And that episode is so fantastic. It's the episode that really got me into What If. I liked What If beforehand, but that episode really hooked me into the show. Uh, he does make other later appearances in the show. His, the, I mean, just the visuals of the show are fantastic. That's just a completely separate thing. But his appearance as Doctor Strange is, uh, you know, again, it's different because it is technically, it's a variant of Strange, but it feels feels so much like the Strange that we know. It's, again, it's just it's just a different telling, a different story. Uh, but it's, it's a darker take on Strange while also being arguably the most heartfelt take on Strange that we've had on screen. Okay, and I'm not going to waste any more time. Number one is Infinity War. Yes, Doctor Strange's best appearance is Infinity War, no doubt. If you guys have any other, like, pick as your number one, genuinely let me know because I'm curious what your reasoning would be as to why Infinity War isn't your number one pick for his appearance. I get that he might not be in it, obviously, as much as his own film, Doctor Strange, but I just think the character is so well developed in Infinity War. His powers are fantastic. They're unique to him. They don't feel like visual effects that you would see in another action film or another Marvel film. They're, they're attacks and powers that, that genuinely feel unique to Dr. Stephen Strange. And in the beginning of this film, Strange is super defiant against the children of Thanos. And in that moment, he does have some kind of quippy one-liners while also being really stern and kind of like this protective protective dad again you know uh over the sanctum sanctorum and really over over all of the world like when it comes to the time stone the sanctum sorcery or or just the world dr strange doesn't fuck around and that's what's that's what's great about his performance in this and then everything with you know there's only there's only one way there was only one way uh you know everything with the time stone he just had such a big involvement while it just it just all wrapped up so nicely and i i do kind of wish he did have a little bit more involvement in endgame and i think you know endgame would have been higher on this list uh and i think this would have stayed at number one had he had more involvement in endgame just because his involvement in this is so i don't know how to put it it's just so it's so strange it's so doctor strange it is everything that i personally would want from from doctor strange and i am so excited to see doctor strange in the multiverse of madness i know it's going to be a darker take a different a different feeling marvel movie but i'm so so excited for that film directed by sam raimi of all people fantastic director this is my uh, rankings for all of the Doctor Strange appearances. Let me know what your guys' rankings would be down in the comments below. I also have a ranking for all of the Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff appearances coming out later this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm Carter Scotland Allen, and I'll see you guys in my next movie-related video. Peace.